and I ain't gonna play no games or sit up here and tell y'all nothing that I think y'all wanna hear. I'ma let y'all know, R. Kelly happy up in jail. He ain't never had a freedom like this before. He finally see things for what it really is. People was talking about R. Kelly need to get some help. Ain't no girls up in jail. He been in there for about six years. That's more than enough help. That's better than counseling. He getting more help in jail than he would have ever got on the streets. And he loving every last minute of it. And he don't want to come home. And you know when the brother get comfortable, that's when they want to see you uncomfortable. He ain't trying to get back out there in them streets with all them fake people, phony people trying to give him their kids. He got us clarity in his mind. He see things for what it is. And he got bedtime stories. He be talking them inmates straight to sleep about people like Diddy, Jay-Z, you name it. All Kelly got stories for days. They working on his autobiography. He done grew out some dreadlocks. He up in there chilling. And he don't want to come home. And all the people that really matter, they reaching out, sending letters. He loving his life in jail. They said every Friday, he get to have steak, shrimp, lobsters. They put that camera on him. He just talk all day long. He in there singing better than he did when he was in the studio. That's all he doing. Singing to the moon, howling like a dog. Talking about all these celebrities that did him wrong and now they don't mess around and raided did house. They trying to shut R. Kelly up, but ain't no way they going to be able to get to him because them Chicago inmates will put a Glock dookie in your face if you say something bad about Kells. His intel don't reached out all the way to the streets. You got inmates going in there wanting to talk to Ted Kells. Want to tell him everything that's going on. I'm talking about brothers from all over the country that got the inside scoop with all the celebrities telling all Kelly what's going on, having conversations with this man. And every Friday, he get to talk to them people that can pull them strings. Now, they talking about sending all Kelly home and he really don't want to go. But like I said, now that he happy and he content, they want to see him suffering. He done avoided a 30 year sentence. So they about to let him out any day around the same time. They about to let Diddy up in jail, man. Y'all going to have to let me know who would y'all rather see free? All Kelly or Diddy because one of these brothers about to be on the street and another one going to be in jail. It's looking like Diddy going to be in jail and they going to turn all Kelly loose. And let me explain something to y'all, man. All Kelly is low hanging fruit. He really ain't that bad. Just like in any criminal organization, they gonna go out there and get the little street dealer, the little street peddler, so they could find out who the real supply is. They trying to go after them big dogs. All Kelly ain't nothing but a guppy in this situation. He can't read or write. He ain't no threat to nobody. They saying they used All Kelly so they can get to Jay-Z. Oh That's who they really want. He the one on the top of the board. He the one that they really trying to get close to cause he with Beyonce and they talking about she a certified monster. So with R. Kelly in jail, what he gonna do? He can't do nothing. All he could do is live and tell his story. That's exactly what they want him to do. Cause to be real, Robert, was the sweetest man you could have ever met. He used to help people. People got more good stories about R. Kelly than they got bad. You ain't never heard no story about R. Kelly killing somebody. But you can't say the same thing about Diddy though. They got stories about him committing all types of things. Murders, beatings. You ain't heard R. Kelly beat on nobody, but Diddy? He about 20 times worse, man. And for them people in the comment section, y'all got to call in. We going to get deeper into the video. And it's a whole bunch of stuff we going to be talking about. But y'all going to see exactly how this going to play out. R. Kelly going to be let go just like they let go of Bill Cosby. 
They just want to shake up the game. Y'all got to see this. Reg, go and play that. R. Kelly is appealing to overturn a 30-year racketeering sentence in a New York court today. His attorneys arguing Kelly's conviction does not meet the definition of racketeering charges, claiming that prosecutors stretched the boundaries of the law too far. Prosecutors rejected that argument, saying there was plenty of evidence in the case. Kelly is right now serving his term in a North Carolina prison. The court's decision is expected in the coming months. Y'all see that? They still, they deliberating. Oh he in there don't work out some, he don't pull some strings. They even had them people talking. Cause not that long ago, they were saying ain't no possibility of parole. He gonna be in there for the rest of his life. Now they talking about shaving off 30 years of his prison sentence. And he don't already served about 10. So by the time Diddy in jail, all Kelly gonna be coming home. And it ain't that. He fighting for his motherfucking life. He just a man that no people in the industry don't been around them top dogs. And he's sitting in jail confused like, why am I here? And did he still out there? And that man 50 times worse than me. All Kelly ain't got multiple baby mamas and a whole bunch of kids grown out here doing freak offs in his house. All Kelly had little, little kids, innocent kids. Diddy the one out there with them demons that's carrying his last name. You can't even compare the two no more. But now people starting to wake up and see this for what this really is. Robert was a scapegoat. They used his ass as bait. Now they going after what they really want. He been cooperating allegedly. Y'all got to see this, man. Look at this. Hold on, Reg, go and play that. They gotta see this, dog. Play that, play that. Is fighting to overturn run that back, run that back. R&B star R. Kelly is fighting to overturn his conviction that sent him to prison for 30 years. His attorneys argue federal prosecutors in Brooklyn failed to prove Kelly's sexual acts were part of a criminal enterprise. Federal prosecutors accused Kelly of having a system in place that lured young people into his world and his staff knew they were all too young. During the arguments this morning, his attorney said there was no evidence anyone deliberately looked for minors. Judges will now consider the appeal and will issue a written decision at a later date. Now he got a case, y'all. Now they got to consider and reconsider. Now they got to reevaluate everything going on with R. Kelly because they ain't got no proof. Ain't nobody came forward with no hardcore evidence. He ain't never had no lawsuit. Like how Diddy got lawsuits. You ain't never seen no ex. None of them people he was in the music industry with came out and said nothing against him. Diddy got people he been seen in public with. R. Kelly ain't never been in public with none of them survivors. Oh Not that we seen. He ain't never been on the red carpet with a survivor. Diddy got his survivors in his music videos. His survivors was on his record label. His survivors is public figures. You can't say that about R. Kelly. All the people that accused him of something became famous off of accusing him of stuff. P. Diddy people was already famous, man. So it ain't no comparison. Robert got a better singing career in jail than he ever had on the streets. Y'all think he in there quiet, reading books, he ain't got nothing to say. He ain't got no input. At first, he was fighting mad, wondering what the hell going on. But see, God got a plan for everybody, man. And I'm starting to see why R. Kelly went down the way he went down. If you can convict a man with no proof, what can you do to a man where you got all the proof in the world? They don't ran up and did it house. They got laptops, cell phones. They got camcorders, DVDs, VHSs. They got cassettes. They got everything you can imagine. All the evidence in the world. They ain't never raided our Kelly house. They ain't never went up in there and seen nothing that them girls was talking about. Even in the documentary, they standing outside the studio throwing rocks. They ain't even have access to get up into the studio. So this situation right here, 
by the habit to where Robert looked like Mickey Mouse and Diddy looked like the devil. And this all working out in all Kelly's favor. But it's people at the top that's trembling scared because they know it's a domino effect. They don't serve Russell Simmons with some papers and he about to be in jail soon and he 50 something years old and he ain't got the strength to hold it together. He practicing that yoga trying to keep his peace, but that's going to be hard to do when you in the two by four cell and they ain't going to turn the heat on. You already frail. He going to be trembling cold. He going to be a popsicle if he don't get the snitching. And Jay-Z, I don't think he did nothing wrong, but when you the top dog in the game, they going to get you before they get any of them other billionaires out there. All these brothers low hanging fruit, but they going to pick them off one by one. So if R. Kelly was first and Diddy going to be next, who y'all think going to be after that? They can't just go straight to Jay-Z. But Jay-Z messed up when he did that album with R. Kelly. That's what put him on the radar. And you got to ask yourself, who was a fan of who? Was he a fan of R. Kelly? Or was R. Kelly a fan of him? Talking about the best of both worlds. They the same person in different genres of music. And they decided to collab because they got so many similarities. Kanye West know what's going on. He been talking about it for years. He's so damn crazy. People don't want to listen to what he got to say. When he said that Bill Cosby was his real father, people said he was crazy. But now y'all starting to see that everything that this man said is becoming a reality. It's going to get so cold in the music industry. Ain't none of that music going to be for sale no more. They about to pull a whole bad boy catalog. I'm talking about Total, Faith Evans, Biggie, The Locks, Mary J. Blige going to be next. And she going to have to defend herself because she was in them pictures with Kim Porter, Naomi Campbell, and Beyonce. And they all connected to Epstein. Look at this, man. They was all linked up. Diddy girlfriend, Jay-Z girlfriend, Epstein girlfriend, Mary J. Blige, everybody girlfriend. Partying, living it up. Naomi Campbell even was with Grace Jones. They say a lot of them supermodels, really men, allegedly. And that's why them billionaires be going crazy over them she things or whatnot. Hello, hello. Who this is here, man? I have no comment tonight. This is the guy that finally called on time on your live stream. God bless you, brother, and I wish you the best of luck. I'm interested to see what you got to say tonight. Oh, man, we appreciate you, brother. And don't be no stranger. When you do have a comment, feel free to call back and let us know what that is. We got so much love for you, bro. We going to holla at you later. Real talk, man. That man support me. He called up and showed me some love. That's all I really need, man. He gave me the motivation to keep on going. God sent that brother, and he called in for a reason. I want to thank him so much, man. We got to get back into this. Look, 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 look. <clears throat> Bruce Willis got the same thing that Wendy Williams got, but it looked like Wendy Williams was playing, and ain't nothing wrong with her ass, and she just doing what she doing for entertainment purposes. So if Bruce Willis out the game and he was with Naomi Campbell and Diddy, it's a possibility he was on that Epstein list. But since he insane in the mint brain, ain't nobody gonna persecute him. So he played the game like a pro. But Diddy dumbass out there got some new booty, Young Miami. Hold on y'all, y'all need to see this real quick. Hello, hello, who this is here? Sean Blaze. What's going on, brother? Who this be? 
How you doing, man? This is more man. Be more Trish is in the building. We representing out here in Florida. How you doing today? Oh, man, I'm feeling amazing. But this situation crazy right here. What you think about this? They saying that R. Kelly done did so much talking and singing that it done trickled down to the streets. And now people talking and Diddy House done got raided, man. What you got to say about all this here? Man, you know what I got to say about that, bro? I, man, look, it's looking very something fishy going on, bro. I can tell you back since like 95, 96, man, I'm from Baltimore, bro. We were hearing about Diddy in the street in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? So, you already know. Yeah, they've been talking about him all across the country for a long time. And it ain't just Diddy. You figure it's an industry and the industry have standards. It don't matter what it is. If you a truck driver, it's standards for truck drivers. You got to have a personality in order to be a truck driver. And even if you don't have it, you're going to develop it when you get out there on the roads and you living and eating and sleeping and, and boo-booing and peeing in that damn truck. You know what I'm right. saying? Any industry, if you a hairdresser, you're going to take on some hairdresser traits. If you a barber, you're going to take on some barber traits, man. It's just how it is. So if you a rapper or you in the hip hop industry, you got to fit the mold. They all That's the right. same. Ain't nobody no different. It's a whole bunch of ditties out there. It is. Yep, you're right. A whole bunch of undercover ditties, man. Right. Right, Real bro. Tone. That's real, man. Yes, but that's how I So, Larry, I got a question for you, if you don't mind me asking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Well, hey, Sean, do you feel like Diddy did it? What do you feel like he involved with, bro? It looked like Diddy thought he was above the law for a long time in which he was very much so above the law did he done graduated from Howard University connected with a whole lot of big people that could easily get him out of trouble man all he got to do is make a phone call and say your brother is in trouble you took a oath to protect me and you gonna have to abide by that did is connected with some very very powerful people and been that way for a long time but this the problem bro it's some mm-hmm. people bigger than diddy that's in the world of trouble and they need somebody to take the fall just like them gangsters in the street they ain't about to do no time they gonna send one of them young boys out there to do the time wow man you make so much sense that, that's so true that's so true i like that yeah i ain't think about that diddy gotta take the fall for them bigger people see them brothers they be that black look i hate to say this but them black boule them bougie brothers they under black the table brother. yeah y'all they, yeah yeah you're right they under the table if if some shit go down it's just like in the war they had them brothers out there on the front line when shit get ugly when they get to shooting it's a bunch of brothers on the front line to take them bullies that's true bro you are right Hey, but you know what, though? Someone, hey, just like uh, Epstein, man, so, someone got to take the fall for that, too. Yeah, and when they seen how Epstein went down, that raised a lot of heads on people's backs. Like, oh, no, that that's can't why, be me. That's that's why when you said earlier about, man, like, the first thing that popped my mind is a list. I'm like, man, I want a video on that list. You get what I'm saying? You know, I ain't even trying to reach on. You get what I'm saying? But you never know, bro. You know what I mean? I pay attention to shit, too. This is what it is, man. They trying to make it a black thing. So all them mm. billionaires, when they do get up in court, it's, they could look at the judge and say, I ain't no damn P. Diddy. Who you think I am? T.D. Jake's a power bottom? They going to be up in there laughing. Like, oh, you trying to accuse me of being a hip hopper or an R&B singer? You must be. I'm, a, I'm the owner of a multi-billion dollar industry, sir. It's a difference. We don't do black people shit. They trying to turn right. it into a black thing. Right. So, man, like, who, who you think going to be next, man? They want Jigga, man. That's who they want. They want to go straight to the top and get Jay. Because he done made so much money. And they ain't been right. able to really. He like the Teflon Don for real. Because they ain't got who nothing you? on Jay. Bulletproof bulletproof and the reason why he's so bulletproof because he got beyonce on his arm and she's america's darling and not only is she america's darling her ass done started making country music i know man i've seen on that horse man she on the horse they who how they gonna go after dolly parton's man 
in America? Bitch, please. Hey, her and Dolly, they tight too, man. They, they, they don't want to go against that, bro. <laughs> they like, you fuck with Jay-Z and Beyonce, you fucking with country music, baby. Oh <laughs> you don't want to get the Hells Angels involved. They ain't going down for nobody. Them some real gangsters right there, if you ask me. That's right. Yeah, man. They don't, they don't play around. Man, country Americans run America. Point blank, period. That's right. That's right, man. Hey, Beyonce might have did the right thing by sliding in the, on the countryside real quick. Do what was going down. They know what time it is because them congressmen, they be up in the White House with they suit and ties on. Hello, Bob. But when they get home, cowboy hats and Dixie chicks. <laughs> you know they do. And they eat mashed potato. They they down home American people that love their country. And Beyonce doing country music. It's going to be a hard time going after her, man. Especially if one of them songs are bop. Hey, they better watch out on the kitchen table. And I had to slide that, um, slide that um, mashed potatoes off to the side. They about to put some ham hocks and collard greens up there. They like, shit, hip-hop is burning. We got to leave that hip-hop R&B. They coming after hip-hop R&B niggas? Well, we some country motherfuckers over here. So what y'all going to do? If y'all take down Jay-Z, y'all got to go after Garth Brooks. Y'all got to go get um, the Honky Tonk Jason Man Aldean. and the rest of them. Hey, you remember Jason Aldean? You remember what he did? What do you do? Oh, um, you ain't know that song, man. Look it up, but man, look up Jason Aldi. He did that song, Not in My Town. A country singer. Right yeah, you don't remember that? He said it. He did a song called Not in My Town. Yeah, man, you gotta check it out, bro. Jason Aldi, check that out, man. They don't Put be playing. Boy. They don't be playing, man. And now they in a whole nother genre. If Beyonce and Jay Z take a hit, country music gonna take a hit. You think they gonna have that in America? <laughs> Hell to the now. I agree with you, Sean. I agree with you, man. Hey, man, they smart. They don't got the hell up out the black trap. And that's the smartest thing they could have ever did, man. And we appreciate your phone call, too, dog. Don't be no stranger. I appreciate you, man, Sean. Hey, man, it's tick, tick, kaboom, man. I'll hit you up, bro. No doubt, man. We're going to holler at you real soon, man. Ooh. Thank him so much for his phone call. Don't gave so much insight to what we trying to do here, man. So much love. You appreciate it, dog. Y'all got to see this. Erica Badu, mad as hell because Beyonce done stole her thunder. And she tried to get sexy on y'all ass and Beyonce came and snatched up her little. Look, them bean pies and shits ain't really helping. Beyonce got better nutrition. She done snatched up. What y'all going to do? Y'all going to go after her, man? We talking about motherfucker Beyonce? Hey, no, she ain't that little girl with Destiny's Child no more. She a grown ass woman with hella clout. Now she the she she a bad ass country singer now. What y'all gonna do? Bring it. You gonna have to go at the very foundations of America to take them down. It's gonna be an American story. It ain't going to be no African-American story no more. It ain't going to be no R. Kelly. Let me see your underwear. Oh my you could easily persecute somebody like that. Talking about playing peekaboo with the booty. That ain't going to stand a chance in court. It seems like she's ready. I'm peeking at your boo hootie. Oh they playing these niggas silly ass lyrics in court. Like, who gonna take them seriously, man? You put a country song on in, in court, them people gonna be in there crying. I'm from Texas, in America. I love my country, and we ain't scared of you. How you gonna persecute somebody with a patriotic ass song in the U.S. courtroom? Somebody tell me. Genius. Genius, genius, and and not only that, they doing cowboy movies. Look at this, man. Y'all need to see this. And I don't want to see nothing happen to the Carters anyway. Jay-Z, a black billionaire with dreadlocks. We need him out there forever. Oh my goodness. 
he really represent for the people. He ain't no Tom Brady. He ain't no Wayne Brady. He ain't no Tiger Woods. He a brother from Brooklyn with a head full of dread sitting on the billion dollars. Brother, I will fight in these streets to keep y'all free. He doing country music, country movies. Got Idris Elba with a cowboy hat on. With a black cast. Got uh, Regina Kane slanging iron. A hell of a movie. And if you ain't seen it, you need to see it. This is a badass movie. Got uh, Jonathan Majors, the black Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie. Jay Z ain't playing. How y'all gonna come get me? I ain't doing rap no more. I ain't making songs about the trap. I ain't wearing all that stupid ass jewelry. Come on, man. Let me show y'all something. Y'all need to see this, man. Wait, 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 wait a second. Y'all need to see this. Hold on. And while I get this together, y'all hit that like button, man. And like I said, them phone lines open. Y'all need to call in and let me know what y'all think about this. Because they said R. Kelly, he's singing better than he ever did on the streets, man. He in jail. Sounding like Beethoven up there singing so hard. Y'all need to see this. Look, 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 look. Oh, shit. We got a phone call. Hello, hello. Who, who this is here, man? Hey, this is Keisha. Oh, what's going on, babe? We need you to cut that phone up a little bit so we can hear you better. Can you hear me now? Oh, man, that sounds perfect. Oh, what's on your mind tonight? Thank you. You said what now? I said, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. What, what's on your mind tonight, baby? I just want to comment on the um, Diddy situation. Reggie, I just she don't get no music. Cut the beat off, Reggie. What you said now? Oh, my goodness. I just want to comment on the Diddy situation. I just oh, want to see. It's a five-star pre. It was about six stars on this video. And I don't mean no disrespect, baby, but damn. We over. I'm about to what? break down the ballistics. I'm about to go into detail. I'm talking about Jay Z. I'm talking about R. Kelly. I got the mashed potatoes going. I got the steak. I got all this shit. And you call up in here with a hot pocket. Oh my goodness. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I did call. We don't call know what you're talking about. about. It's smelling good up in here. And you interrupted my good ass cooking. Big Daddy cooking. Oh with a TV dinner? Either you got something to say or no. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. I don't know what you're talking. Can you hear me, John? I, I just want to comment on this. Oh Lord, that's what. Go on down, just, please. Red John, try. Oh Lord, I, uh, babe. Whatever you got to say, we all is. Just go on, talk it up, yak it. I just want to comment on Diddy situation. How Diddy, Diddy got raided by the FBI. I just think that's very sad. I just want to say that I'm very sad right now, and I just think that people should not do that to him because he just make good music. World he make star. good music, and he, he he keeps us dancing and get, getting us getting us hyped. And I just think it's really, really, really sad. That's all I got to say, Sean. I love your show. I love you. That's why I just want to give you a big old hug because you called. That's all you did. You called in here to show me some love. I get it. I did. I know you I did. I know you. So I did. I listen to you. I try to catch you live you every do? every time you come on with this. Oh, yeah, I love that's you amazing. So. I love you so. more. Yeah, I'm. I'm Thank glad. You. Yeah, because that's good, man. You called to show me some love. I feel good, and I want to show you some love too. Can I? Can I call you later? Like we can talk. Mm-hmm. I know what it is. Look, I got a lot of love for you. Don't think I don't, and that's why I'm glad you called in. Thank you. But do you mm-hmm. have a girlfriend? Oh man, I got plenty of them. I got too many. I can't have no more. I got yeah, they all over. They, you know, they bent over shit. I'm in here drunk right now. Like damn, they motorboat me. I can't well, we even can, brrr, can't even do the video. Got these tig old we bitches. Can, we can talk. We can talk sometime. I, I like your show. We can oh, talk sometime. Yeah, we, we could definitely hold on, man. You are gonna have to send me about 18 pictures, a whole photo okay. album. If you talking like that, man, it better not be headshots. I need body shot. I need it all. Cause you trying to do me like hey. that? I ain't about to be in court for no damn oompa loompa. I know that much. I'm, I'm not an oompa loompa. I'm I'm a real person. I am 
32 years old. Thank you very much. 32? You had a How hard life. You only you said you're 32 years old? Are you too, baby? Well, what happened, baby? How old, you used how to be, old are, how, how old did you sign? You I just used to, to know how old you is. You used to be a boxer or something like you. This Muhammad Ali daughter. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, you got your. You this must be Layla. Like this Layla Ali, y'all. She called in. I must remind <laughs> my jokes. My witty jokes remind you of Muhammad Ali or something. No, no, sweetheart. You just tripping. I just, I just want to tell you that I like your show, and I just want to just say that be a yeah. little bit on my on Diddy because he's a good he's a good person and I like oh man you amazing thank you so you don't turn it up to an eight star video it ain't gonna get no more stars than that that's why I wanna thank you, you think, so much you the think, next time we, I don't give a damn about none of that the next time I go live you, you gotta call back next time Mwah. I get you did, over there acting like a cat number? you acting like a cat I don't gave you love you still want me to pet on you and I got work to do we ain't playing with you all night go on somewhere go on go on call me Don't after the show time. hit me up later man facebook okay. instagram bye oh man it hurt being a celebrity sometimes yeah damn i got where my brush at i have to comb my shag hello hello who this is here this is kamalita kamali oh it don't got exotic up in here now nah. let me sit <laughs> back okay mm -hmm. i'm gonna tell you this I'm going to tell you what I really feel. Um, Free R. Kelly or Diddy. I think they all should go to jail. Mm. All of them. I think everybody who's been killed and murdered, the real true soldiers is already dead. They and killed them all. I would really like to see that Jay-Z. I know you're not talking about Jay-Z, but you know, like a lot of them will be going down. Because I don't blame if R. Kelly right here in dead time. It's time for them to do some time too now. You know, and um, because it's wrong at the end of the day when you think about everything, and like Tupac gone, or you know, I'm talking about Tupac and saying it, but when you sit back and think about a lot of artists that's been deceased and murdered and killed, and if they played a part into all this, they deserve it because see, Tupac was gonna be a very, very intelligent. He already was intelligent. I hear man. what you're saying, baby. Y'all need to cut this out, man, because all this what? here. Black folks sitting back with the popcorn watching the public lynching with an opinion. Like, well, you know, he shouldn't have jumped the gate. He shouldn't have jumped the gate. That's why he gonna get a lash and he shouldn't have jumped the gate. Is he should have just, you know, people sitting back with an opinion about what's going on with another black person. Well, I can't help that. He's showing it all on TV. You be on there talking about it. So you While know, they running away with the cash. While they running away with the cash, we sitting over here debating about what Diddy did. Like, ooh, Diddy in trouble. Yeah. Diddy in trouble. Yeah, he, to, yeah, yeah, he need to go in jail and then dance ooh. too like R. Kelly probably dancing Diddy, from another. Diddy going to get a lashing. Diddy in trouble. Yeah, a lot of them gonna be in trouble. A lot, of, a lot of secrets gonna come out. And after a while, I mean, think about it. we gonna have no more black people entertaining us no more because all of them gonna be going to jail. That's so sad. This way, like it's gonna fall. You know what they gonna do? They what already got this African or uh, this Afro beat. It's climbing the charts. People rather listen to Afro beat over hip hop any mm -hmm. day. And then they got yeah. all these actors from the UK. That's amazing. These yeah. brothers are amazing with their acting. Yes, it's just crazy. Boy, that demon is out here, huh? It's Demonic a, spirit black is America. all around the black folks right now. You no, know, and, 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 black America on that hip hop shit. That's what's killing it, man. This hip hop. Well, I don't like hip hop too much, no way, because my favorite hip hop was a hip. I hear it. I hear it too. I hear it. You hear it. You hear it. You don't stop. I'm rapping. Yeah, the same and I got to get back. And I want you to keep on me. rapping while I get back to this five star presentation, man. Because you <laughs> over there, you see a brother doing my thing. You just want to call up and pour doo doo all over my gravy, man. And I love oh, you to you death. Know. You call. You calling all the way from Louisiana. I know how y'all do down there. I love the loop. I love. The, I love it down there, man. Shout out to the boot. And we gonna holler yeah, at you, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, have I'm fun, have, have fun, fun, baby. Have fun, fun. have fun. Boost go have, go too. somewhere and have Be fun, baby. Have fun, have fun. That's Hold on, what? What about Boosie? And I love him. What about Boosie? I'm from the same town. What about? Hold on, what about Boosie? What you say about Boosie? He's like the handsome man in the world to me. 
You love Boosie? I don't know about you, nobody else, and I live right in New Orleans. I'm right from where you from, you know, and he about the handsomest man. He got the sexiest Uh-oh. smile I've ever seen Uh-oh. in the man. Uh-oh. And I'm not trying to put Boosie up in there, but Boosie is very handsome. That's the, that's, the, that's the man. Uh-oh. That's who's going to run everything. Uh-oh. She like that uh-huh. chocolate. She just want to get a piece of the Hershey. She love, well, I'm from, she well, love well, I'm from Boosie. Him. I'm from too, no? She love Boost. That's her type of man. Chocolate, black, ignorant, motherfucker, Boosie. Yeah, he's sexy. He got that sexy smile. He's a smile. bad he ass. He's a bad. He's he just a bad ass. Smile. With his bad ass. He's got that smile on him. With his, he got that smile. Like, you don't with know, his like, bad like, ass. Boo, 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 with his bad ass. That's who you in love he's with. He's a sexy man. That's your love that yeah, man. Yeah, that's but this the problem. This the problem. We don't do that girly gossip and spilling tea. I we only spill Hennessy. You up here chatting with me like I'm Tasha K or somebody. I don't give a damn about how you feel, feel about Boost. T- talk to me about some big booty women. That's what we, matter of fact, I let you talk about Boosie. We gonna talk about some big booty women. Who we gonna talk about? Matter of fact, matter of fact you wanna talk about Boosie? I wanna talk about Fantasia. Not the cartoon. I love a beautiful woman too. A What's smart, her name? Huh? We're going to talk about Fantasia. Because you want to yeah, talk about somebody fine. Woman. Yeah, yeah she, she's very fine. She's oh, beautiful. She's man. very intelligent. And, you know, she has she yeah. people to feel like on the people. She's she beautiful. A good, she a good one. She, that, that's mm-hmm. a good woman. Right? Fantasia. Always me. Uh, love her hairstyle. She always, you know, she just... She's a, a good smart, woman. Smart young lady. Very, very smart she a young good, lady. Yes, yeah, man. Yeah. Fantasia, she a good mm-hmm. woman. But they ain't got nothing to do with my video. Now let me get I back know, to talking to my people. Like I love you to death, baby. Call Ooh. another time. Oh my oh man, what is going on? Oh my goodness. Pray for me, man, cause my people, what what y'all be doing? I think it be them noodles. Y'all need to stop eating that shit. That top ramen got all that salt in your brain. It's salty. Season. All that seasoning. The season. The fuck up. It's spicy on the nigga ass. Like, stop being so tangy. Some zest ass people. I like spicy. Y'all like that spicy ass chicken. My, oh, I like the spicy noodle, spicy chip, taki, taki, taki. Just oh zesty. Shit, nigga, eat a salad and put lemon juice on it. I'll be killing me with this stuff. Diddy is in trouble. It's a possibility. Allegedly, R. Kelly was running his mouth for a long ass time. Don't slipped up and said something about Diddy. Like, I remember a time. 12 o'clock at night and R. Kelly on the road. Them inmates in there rubbing their hands together. What you got for us tonight, Kel? Like, oh shit. Robert here, y'all. He, he sings all night. Why this person? Why you hold on? Why you call why you calling back? We got a one phone call minimum. Let somebody else talk. Thank you so much. So much love. You call tomorrow. Hello, hello, who this is? Look, don't y'all be talking about on rude, man, but damn, what y'all want me to do? Hello, hello, hey, who this man. is? Hey, what's up, brother? This, this, this is me, man, and, and he, he, he stupid, he gonna get go deal, man. He gonna deal. I know he gonna get it. They gonna do the wank, wank, wank it to him, man. Watch what they do to be diddy, homeboy. I love you, man. You keep it up the good work. You funny to me, man. And look, people must don't know about SAT. We got celebrities calling up here and shit. Yeah, I think they gonna be in there with all Kelly. What? He gonna be in there doing the dance and bending over. What the hell? I tell you, boy, boy, I, 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 I knew that was gonna come to me. And then I be watching him. I say he gonna go to jail. Yeah, Watch man. Got whole celebrities calling into my show. You ain't never had a celebrity call Tasha K or any of them other YouTubers, really. You know, so that. You no, know. man, you bet. You the best man. You the best man to be. I know you are, man. Only on SAT, people. Oh 
You bet, man. You the best. You keep up and now. Uh, and I'm not talking because you missed the big cat, dog. Yeah. That's because you I'm a know, boss. You a big boy, man. Yeah. I'm a boss, too, man. Done, done it all, man. I was bad at fucking good. school. Now I'm trying to dodge a charge. Man, they ready to hit home and they told them they, they told them they gonna come get hold of the thing. What do you be doing? They gonna get him real good. You wanna live large? You wanna be a boss? You wanna be a boss? You gotta pay the cost. Get it, get it, get it, what you gonna get it? He gonna get it, get it, get it. I know. Presidential. Look, presidential when I leave the club, we ain't stopping at no lights. We ain't jumping at the day. We ain't doing that. Oh, presidential. Y'all call the, uh, you know, president come through. We ain't stopping. We're presidential. Big boss. Ain't no, ain't no president. President going to come get him, too. He going to be in there all girly. Bossy. He going to be in there with them people. Bossy and sauce. they going to get him real good. Yeah. And you know the messed up part about it, brother? You 50-something years old and, like, you 12. Years old, man, and I know it's all fun, game, know, but you too, you too old. You too old. You too old. You too old, brother. You're way too no. old for this. You shouldn't be doing that at fifty something. No, man, you who don't be don't talk about years me, man. Old. Fifty, probably, no probably pushing I'm, sixty. I'm, I'm only thirty-five, boy. Hold on, is I'm that? No did I hear? Be a, hold on, wait, man. hold on, shut up. Did I hear you? You sh oh, shut you up one up. second. Damn, sh shut real. your retarded Come ass. <laughs> shut up so I can say something. This is my show. I don't give a damn how special you, you is. You, you, this is my show. You shut that. up and not say you, shut up. You plan to. You get your. Show, this is my show. You, you ain't going to do a damn thing. You, you shut up. I'm shut your face. Be quiet. Mama. 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 Hold on, that be that's Beyonce in the background. What the hell? Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z. You busted, Jigger. Oh no, man. I'm, what you talking about, boy? You busted, Jigger. Yeah. I got all your shoes. You trying? You trying to snap? You trying? But no. Call back next time using your regular voice, Jay. I'm gonna holler at you, baby. Can y'all believe that? Beyonce don't mess around and says something in the background. Now both of them caught allegedly. Man, we about to cut them phone lines off. Cause these niggas. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, man. I'm trying to help these views. Diddy got raided. I'm like, oh, time to do my thing. All up there playing. This is supposed to be five star. R. Kelly in jail, singing to the inmates. Like I said, late night. R. Kelly on the road. Oh my goodness. And them inmates in there, they sad, they hurting. Think about that girl at home. She probably got a new man, got a new boo. And your ass locked down. You can't get out there. You got kids, they miss their daddy and all that shit. Oh man, I'm praying for my brothers up in there. Oh Lord, that's why they come home crazy. Like nigga play with me. Shout out to them brothers in there, man. Matter of fact, if y'all in there listening, man, I'm praying for y'all, dog. Hell, keep your head up. Keep y'all head up in there, man. R. Kelly in there on the late night. I remember when I was with Diddy. Even if they sleep, they gonna wake up like, hold on, did Kel say something about? They gonna wait. I don't give a damn if it's two in the morning. R. Kelly want to express himself. You think they ain't going to listen? You don't think them guards, they sitting in there, them CEOs sitting by the cell recording? Man, this could be my meal ticket. Drop this shit off TMZ. Tell them, give me $50 million. I'm going to be out this bitch cold. Like shit, man, I'm going to let R. Kelly keep on singing on this shit. And I'm gonna sell the recording. But $69 million, man. We need a better music selection. These beats getting booty. I can't get my groove on today. I can, but I wanna have something different. You know what I'm saying? We need to work, A, 
we gonna get in the studio tomorrow and come up with some more music, y'all. All right, man. Yeah, that's what we gonna do. Cause this shit right here, I call this the Steve Harvey beat. Hold on, turn that up. Turn up the Steve Harvey. <clears throat> Cause this sounds like some Steve Harvey. Put his old ass hand on his hip. Be walking around trying to crack jokes with a cigar in his mouth, man. Like, R. Kelly ain't never getting out of jail. If he do, where the hell he gonna go? They got Russell Simmons in a whole nother country and he just got served. He out there in Bali. He thought he was gonna be able to get away with ripping anybody butt just because he in the mood. That man been nasty since the 80s. Curtis Blow. Like, do another line, Kurt. Like, whoo. Everybody was living like Ric Flair. Russell Simmons, man. He been having that long money. Messing with them models. Little skinny winny. Skinny penny in his. Here's my money. That's all you want is my money. You just want to do another line, take my money. That's all you want. Oh, you want to do my drugs? You want to take my money? You just want to just live your life. That's what you want to do. I know you skank, you stupid skunk, skunk. I know what you are. You know, I got money. I'm rich. I've been rich for a long time, bet. Been rich since the 80s. Got Usher over there getting saucy. Like, I remember him. He was a young one. I remember him from back in the day. Diddy had him. Flavor Cap, you know, young boy trying to get in the industry. He made it, you know. That dude he had to do, though. You know, it was this strange game. You know, you want to be rich, you want to be famous. Oh, fuck you. Brother the one called the shots. Brother the one with the buddy. You know, you're just a scub. You're a scub. I own, I own Baby Fab. What do you own? You own shit. You're a bum. I'm from New York. Wendy Williams admired me when she was in high school. Wendy Williams wanted to be me. She did. That's, what she, that's why she's an asshole. Like, I'm Indian now. Don't call me black. I'm not black. I'm Indian. Look at me. I got the sandals and shit. I ain't going to jail. Oh, my goodness. Like, I'm an Indian man now. Don't play with me. What? 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 Oh, you want to get in trouble with Bali? Like, nobody mess with India. We're spiritual people. You know, turn you into a frog. Don't fuck with us. You know, you don't want to do that. I'm Russell Simmons, bitch. Shit. Yo, shout out to Russell Simmons. Damn, I hope he don't hear this shit. Matter of fact, Reggie, delete that, man. Like, no, we keeping that. Man, you gonna have to delete that. If that go viral, they gonna put me in the uh, Guinness World Record Hall of Fame, man. That might not be so good. Russell Simmons, he be listening to my shit with his arms crossed. Like, damn, this nigga done made it to the Guinness World Record talking shit about me. Man, Today's the day I don't know, hold I on. My- I don't need to see this. Cause they don't raid the Diddy house. Them police was out there. They had helicopters, trucks. They had it on Fox News, baby. He had a crawl hole for the kid. Them kids got a crawl in there just to get to his. Hold on, how y'all like that music? Did it sound good like that when I had it up loud, or do it sound better when it's low? Cause I'm trying to EQ this thing for y'all liking. How y'all like it, man? I want to shut this thing up to your ears, man. Y'all let me know. Did y'all like it when I had the music playing loud? Or y'all like it when I got a look? And hit them likes, man. With y'all fine women and y'all thuggy thugs. Oh my goodness. I got all these thugs watching this channel, man. Where them OG gangsters? Where them Cedric the Entertainers? Them cat daddies with them gators on, man. Hello, hello. Who this is, man? Oh, we need you to cut that off. That's ridiculous. You don't messed up the whole video with that plan like that. You knew you was calling in. Why ain't you cut that off when you when you dialing them? Oh, my bad. Why why y'all do that? You figure if you gonna what call about Ty Davis? if you gonna call somebody you respect, if you was calling AT and T, you would have been cut that <laughs> off. My bad. If you was calling work to call in some shit, you ain't gonna have that still blasting in the background when you calling your job. <laughs> but y'all yeah, want yeah, y'all we'll- like, oh the hell with this thing. I'ma call and watch the show at the same time. If he pick up, he raggedy. He y'all just want my shit to be ghetto. 
This a five star pre. Y'all gonna quit. Y'all need to respect the black business. Y'all come up in here kicking I'm this saying, shit. I'm saying why they ain't going after Clyde Davis though. And you gonna over talk me like you don't hear me talking to you, young man. You need to respect your elder. <laughs> and pull up the damn pain. <laughs> you, you call up here rude, unruly. I'm the old man at the grocery. You ain't never seen the old black man at the grocery store. That's what your problem <laughs> is. I remember I the old black man. Clyde Davis though, man. I remember the old black man that used to own mm. the grocery store. And you better not come up in there acting crazy. Cause he own that and he gonna tell you what to do. I, I remember you. you ain't never seen that before. A black grocery store with the big pickles and the pig feet on the counter. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we ain't got none. You though. ain't never seen it, man. Where the old we got black some lady Dominican stores though. The old black lady at the <sighs> register, she just lean and she she take your money, hand you the chain. You know not my damn store. Oh you ain't America, never they black people have much or anything. You ain't never seen it. A, a black owned business. You ever been to a black owned laundromat? Nope. Oh man, they run it like butter. Smooth like butter, baby. Oh my I bet so. You ain't never seen it. Uh, I want to see Clyde Davis get locked up though. Black laundromat. Wash your clothes. Fold your clothes. Mm. And tell you have a good day. Oh yeah. And treat you like, like sweet honey, man. You ain't never... You ain't never experienced that before. Damn right. Yeah, man. Good black business. Good black business. Big old rub your hands together like bird, man. Black business back in the day, man. It was like gravy. I'm talking about Harlem. Harlem, New York. And they will shut it down just like they, every Harlem. time. They, they always Harlem. shut it down. Harlem, New York, baby. Black business. Yeah, you know it. What you know about black? <laughs> you know, people ain't experienced I know about Harlem. <laughs> Hey, a lot of people ain't experienced Harlem, especially in this heyday. Nikki Bond, <laughs> Frank Lucas. Hey, man, they experienced, they seen it firsthand. Black on entrepreneurial shit. They was raised up in it. Like, you can get this money, baby. Oh, yeah, you know, black people started the lotto, right? Hey, big mm. black bit. You don't see that no more like that. Everybody want to be a thug. See, they made it illegal, but then... When black people were doing it, it was illegal. Now it's legal, huh? No, man. <laughs> mm -mm. People caught up in this hip hop bullshit, and it's stupid. Man, anything that black people do, they make it illegal. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They let no. you get a little bit of time. Niggas, they want to be real niggas. I'm a real. Why in the yeah, hell? In about ten years, it's gonna be all white rappers. Cause they want to be a real. I want to be a real one. What's that? <clears throat> A mm. fool that's willing to risk your life over some dumb shit. Mm. Throw your whole life away. Cause a nigga stepped on my shoe. I'm a real nigga. Woo. Nigga stepped on my shoe by shooting nigga in the what nigga? I'm a real nigga. Yeah, that's some dumb shit. Dumb ass crack arrow. The aftermath of yeah. crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The aftermath of crack. That's what's going on. Crack was so crack, crack hit hard. We see in the it's after effect. And it's still hitting because we got crack babies running around with guns that's shooting and killing each other. The after effect, the crack. <clears throat> and they think the shit cool. Like it's cool. Like yeah. niggas living like zombies. Oh my yeah, well, the ladies out there looking for a sugar daddy getting pregnant by a 55 year old man oh no we like ain't that. talking about no ladies partner i'm sorry hey, oh, hey. you gotta be true about you. Uh -uh. everybody you gotta be i don't sat babe we ain't doing that gotta be honest about everybody mm -hmm. and i'm glad i was able to get you to get into the conversation and everything but and now, and now beyonce wants to be a <laughs> a country singer yeah man matter mm -hmm. of fact we gonna keep the conversation i, I don't going. know why we always trying to get like i don't want to be in their cookout Hold on, let's, let's rewind this real quick. We're going to get a real conversation going, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because you cool people and all that. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about Diddy House getting raided. I mean, they came in there guns blazing. They laid his kids out. Conviction does not yeah. meet the definition yeah. of racketeering charges. Yeah, they made it seem like they got locked up yesterday, though, right? They, they had the world thinking all types of stuff, man. Right, but then you see that um, white boy got caught with the um, cocaine and the um, candy weed and shit in Miami. Is this the a puppy? Hollywood production or is they for real? 
Well, he, he 25 years old. What Puffy doing? Puffy probably doing something with that little boy too, man. <laughs> man, they must. You know, Cassie said she had that tape. Kim Cor- Kim Porter gave her a cell phone or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Kim Porter had some shit on some dirt on that man. Right before they took her out. She had some serious dirt. Like it was what yeah. the hell? On Diddy. Yeah, yeah. On Diddy, yeah. That's and, true. And he can't look, I can't let that get out, Playboy. If they if they find that out, Playboy, I'm 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 French toast. Like, I can't let the yeah. world know I'm a his his big the real the real secret. Yeah, that's gonna be Clyde Davis. <laughs> oh man, why they see they playing these games with these billionaires? There's some dangerous people. Mm. I can't be playing with no dangerous ass people, man. Dangerous ass people. That there you go. They dangerous, yeah. man. You can't play with yeah, somebody. He's a lot more dangerous than Puffy. <laughs> they got money. Mm-hmm. You know, got money, lawyers, politicians. Money. They, that's what makes mm-hmm. them so dangerous because. Paper can get you anything. You see, they got rid of Jeffrey Epstein, right? Well, you know, it's he got a, his ass. Man, look, I hate to think that it's such a twisted game. It's some creepy ass. It's creepy. And we don't want that associated with hip hop. It's not only creepy, but it's nasty, too. But it's man. not only hip hop, it's the government. These are politicians. I mean, look at man. that with Bill Clinton. I don't think Bill they Clinton, did nothing wrong. Donald Trump, all of them did. with Jeffrey Epstein. I don't think they did nothing wrong. I think they're good people, and entertainment is taking it to the next level. Ah, uh, man, that's all. Entertainment, the government, they all party man, with each other. they human beings at the end of the day. That Illuminati BS. Man, people want to get caught up in this shit that they don't know mm. nothing about and fantasize of the possibilities of what it could be. But shit, mm. everybody want to be rich, though. So you must be a devil yourself. Nah, don't you nah, want a million? Don't you want? Don't you want ten million dollars? I'll take it. Yeah, take, yeah, yeah. And guess what? You're gonna be in the same I, I pool. The <laughs> You're gonna be in the same pool. And some your nah, average Joe I can't handle that. This country ASAP. Your average Joe hit the lottery, and within a year, they're gone, baby. I'm trying to get to Africa, you know. Man, money. Mm. It's a heavy load. It's a heavy yeah. load. It's, y'all yeah, don't yeah. understand. People get money and want to get rid of the load as soon as they get it. Like, who this shit heavy? Let me go shop. I gotta. I nah, want to get nah, that bro. The thing is, you gotta you gotta do the good, the right things with the money, though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta uplift the, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, the, the people. You know what I'm saying? You gotta uplift bruh, the people, the people that don't have. You know what I'm saying? That's what you. That's what you think. That's how you keep your no, money. No, but you ain't had the money to even be speaking on having money. You know, I, I do well with, with what I got. See, man. that's I what look I mean, out for you, the people that don't people have People that it. ain't got it don't know what the hell they be talking about. Yeah. Because when you got it, yeah. you got to move different. You can't be moving yeah, like a yeah. broke motherfucker when you got money. Unless you that's plan right. on being broke. Some people hate the load. Like, damn, this load heavy. Everybody mm-hmm. wants something. I got to take care of the whole ghetto. Like, damn, do I keep the load? Or do I stay nah, true to my people? You don't people? have to be flashy with your shit, though. You don't have to be you flashy. You're not listening. You, don't even let you people, ain't listening. You, you, you want to talk so bad that you ain't willing to listen. <laughs> That's what's wrong with y'all kids. I'm trying to teach you something. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to the people. You talk. You over there talking about Dorito chips and things. And look, I try to relate to the younger generation, mm. but damn, man, I'm going to have to catch up on my TikTok. <laughs> in order to understand what the hell y'all be talking look I'm a grown ass man look where don't cat that where don't pimps where don't players mm. at I know y'all listen get your old ass up and pick up the phone dog <laughs> you got these brave these young warriors what they mm. they call up here brave and shout out to you brother cause you call these old no ass doubt. suckers simp sitting there like if I would call, if I would have called, I would have said this. If I would have called, I would have. Well, your punk ass, man. Pick up the damn. Brother, you brave. You a soldier. You gonna be, you a warrior out here. And he, you a young man, but you a warrior. Like, you don't give a you a You a go I, for you it. You damn right. <laughs> you a go for it, man. And that's why I appreciate your phone call. And make sure you call back the next time we go live, man. Real talk, Ooh. man. Oh, Lord, I'm getting old. Somebody, man, hand me my cane. Yo, turn on some young people shit. I'm just an old... Man, 30 going on 80. I 
always been old. Even when I was a child, I was an old man. I ain't go trick or treating. I just wanted to hand out the candy to the person that had the best costume on, man. Hello, hello, who this is, man? Man, turn on some old head shit, SAT. What's good with all my brother? Man, we gotta keep it OG, man. Like, where them, yeah, where you them gotta pimp? Keep OG with me. Hell. Especially when we got an old head on the line, bro. Call, call 420 calling out of Pennsylvania, man. How you doing tonight, brother? Man, we over here keeping it gangster, man. Like, the, the original OGs, like, you know, like back in the day. Pull up in the Cadillac, you know, hot out, smelling good with some diamond rings on. <laughs> like, yeah, mama, go see your mama. Like, yeah, mama, I'm doing good. I got got gold teeth all in your mouth. Say it again, brother. Say it again. You know what I'm saying? Riding around, helping people like, oh, shit, what's going on? You need some paper? Oh, hey, make sure you get my paper back. I'm going to break you off a couple stat plate. Your pimp voice, right? Your pimp voice, right? <laughs> Big money. Big black money. And proud. But real quick, bro, I ain't trying to mess up this show. I just want to touch on, on on a few things real quick, all right? Uh-huh. Now, now, I'm, allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly before I say anything. So, allegedly, there was an interview on Ella DeGeneres show. I don't know if you've seen it, but Puffy was on her. Puffy asked, I mean, Ellen asked Puffy about Whitney Houston. That man started shaking, getting the shivers, you know, grabbing for a drink, and then uh, he started getting all scared. So allegedly, my my thing is, he was there that night of Clyde Davis's party. I think he had something to do with that. Plus, okay, we're gonna switch to the house raid real quick because that's what you're talking about. So the house raid, right? Yeah. The cops that raided this house are tra- or uh, like kidnapping cops, traffic cops, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, they deal with trafficking and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, I want y'all to think about this. How old was Total? How old was Little Kim before they actually signed and made records with them? Because if you go back and look, back in the day, there's pictures oh of them with her young. This is, you, you, you've been programmed. What you, you like watching them AI video? The one where they, um, they got the goofy faces looking like they melting and shit, and you... Y'all be taking it so seriously. Like, I ain't invent this whole industry of conspiracy. Look, this is what... Look, man, I'm the inventor. I don't put it together. Years back, it's a good theory. That's all it is. People want to take the theory seriously when I was just joking. But I made it sound so good to where people say, hell... Since he put it like that, then it's a possibility that people connecting these imaginary dots. I'm like Poseidon on YouTube, man. I've been doing deep theory for a long ass time. It's just for entertainment purposes, man. And it's quite entertaining. Sean Blazerton got 400,000 subscribers, but they don't want people to see the truth. They don't want right. they don't want people to pay homage to the nail like, hey, this sound like how long he been talking like this? They got they doing me like I'm Bobby Hammond or something. Don't build the whole industry off of the damn thing. And people taking this stuff seriously. But it ain't meant to be taken seriously. It sound good, but that don't mean it's the truth. You will never know the truth. You right, bro. You right. You right. It's just mystery. Like yeah, a I good mean, novel, honest, something bro. you could read. I'm an 80s baby, bro. I, like, I like, I got family in the music industry, and you know what I mean. I know people that's well. I know people that's close to this man. You know what I mean. Well, close to certain people, like you know what I mean. And when you hear certain things, it's just like, oh my god, are you serious? Man, it it really ain't that serious though. What's serious is paying the damn rent on time every month, man. That's what's serious, man. <laughs> Let's be real. Diddy ain't got shit to do with what you got going on. Take being seriously is considering what you gonna do in order to do what you gotta do to live the life you wanna live. But people be so infatuated with Diddy to where they get caught up in this imaginary mist that I created for entertainment, man. They got me like a like a scientist or some shit. I let a fume get out there to the world. Now people pollute it. Not understanding that it's simply entertainment because a person like Diddy really ain't got shit to do with your life. He an entertainer, yeah, and you may have been entertained by his music, but the music and the person is two separate things. 
y'all really think Diddy is this Playboy gangster persona that he put out there to the public? I'm pretty sure he quite the opposite. But it look good. It's flashy. It get him attention. It get him fame. So it's a good scam. It's a scheme. I'm pretty sure Diddy personally. I don't know who he is personally, but he ain't the dude with the shades on, with the diamonds and things on. He do that shit for show. Sure. That's his costume. He was that. He was that person when he went to Clyde Davis and Clyde Davis Man, gave him all that money. You know, like, that's to keep the people in the tank because that's what niggas want to see. <laughs> that's what black people want to see. It's like a pastor. They could put on the front because they know what you want to see. It's a scam. These people, really good people. But the public, they want you to be a certain way in order to make you a champion. That's what it oh. is, man. And Diddy is a champion of the streets. Harlem, New York, king of the city, Diddy. People love him. People celebrate him, man. He did it for the culture. But it's a great uh, show. Got- it's a show that he put together. He been studying I- the game for a long time. All the way from Andre Harrell. They invented hip hop. They no, invented we, the we, show. We they created the wheel. Yeah. He he well, from look, a line a king, so king. You ain't got nothing to say. So I, I know you don't. Thing. Matter of fact, let me hear what you got to say. Got you trying to change the narrative, but it's your show, and I was I was just trying to ask a question real quick. But real quick, now if Puff, now Diddy gets charged with everything, do you think they're going to take his music off or everything like they did R. Kelly? You know what they gonna do? They gonna sell it for real, real cheap. Cause he like got it. No, nah, brother. Like no, nah. he got a he got a very that. expensive catalog. His catalog is expensive. He got the notorious B.I.G. on his catalog. Biggie died when he was young. On some East Coast West Coast rivalry, like some Wild Wild West versus the East. Like it was some real deal. It was bloodshed involved. And Diddy got the, he holding on to something that's epic. It's American history. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Death Row. That's some big business. It's American history. They hold, it's like an artifact. People died behind that. Like a great American war. It was a war on some hip hop shit. And it was stupid. You speaking facts, bro. It went down in the crack era. The crack era. It's stupid. Mm -hmm. It's a bad look, but in the future, it's going to be worth more than gold. Like an artifact of your ignorance. That's how bad it is, man. People need to wake up. Speaking facts, bro. But look, bro, I'm going to go ahead and let somebody else call in. Pre- appreciate you letting me up. Love the show, bro. Hold on. You can't leave like that. Hold on. You said you had something to say. Look. I already asked my question. Now you and your feelings. See, that's what's going on with y'all young people, brother. man. I'm not in my feelings. I'm not in my feelings. Oh my I God. I made him cry. I'm just too old, man. I need to <laughs> say so. I need to learn some hip stuff. I need to get with the kids and just, you know, do the hip thing. Because I'm, I'm. Brother, I'm 45 years old. I didn't see it at all, bro. That's why I just came up, played double ass. Hold on. You 45? I'm Wait 45, a minute. My get boy. the hell. Man, why you ain't say that when you first called? I said keep playing that old school shit because that's me. I didn't know. Oh, <laughs> man. I, I'm over here talking to you like you like you 14 years old. I apologize. I disrespected my elder. Oh, didn't even oh, know. Oh, you don't oh, have to apologize man. to me, bro. This is your show. I was just calling up to ask a question. Damn, I don't disrespect to my elder. Like, the, like an OG, bro. That's I need to is. learn how to deal with people because I should have knew that you was my elder. But you sound like you wanted them hip new, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I'm just a real OG nigga. That's all. <laughs> so what is what they got you on keeping you hip and everything i need to get some of that i ain't like keeping me hip man my kids keep me the way i am bro i keep me on my toes man that's all it's that is kids that got you like that my kids bro. they keep you my on kids. your toe you you be on that tiktok shit no hell no bro you, you got an instagram oh yeah oh so yeah you be you be Boy. looking at them big booty girls on there no sir married you don't look at the bubble butts because it's going to pop up. I mean, you know what it is. Yeah, hold on, know. hold on. You be looking at their bubble. <laughs> oh, oh, man. How you going to try to lie about it? You be looking at their bubble booties. Oh, my hey. hey, man, it'd be ridiculous. Bubble, like, bubble, damn, bubble, 
Like who she like who gonna be with her for real? Like look at her butt. Her booty too big. Ain't no man. You gonna lose your mind trying to hang with all that ass. Like nigga, you better you better off getting you a skinny ass any mini. Don't even wanna talk to nobody ass chick. <laughs> you crazy, my boy. You crazy. That's you be I'm like, talking. damn, I don't even want no big boo. I want me a skinny mini and she don't even want to talk to nobody, chick. I like an obese chick, bro. I like well, I, I like big oh, women. You like them big and biggest. No, I like them big girls. Oh, man. Them you like the oh, fat yeah. you the so you like fat girls, the fat one. With big booty. <laughs> so when you see a fat girl, you probably you probably be like, oh my god. Bro, I like to smack the front and make the front look like the ass. Damn, <laughs> how could you do that? I don't know. It just happened. You smack the pie. You think you ain't nothing. It just create a wave effect. Right, this is PG thirteen. Remember, we on the air. Oh damn, you just man, look. Hey, if that's how you like them, I don't mind that. But damn, what you gonna do when it's time to go to the movies and she got to sit in two seats? What you gonna do then? already happened before my boy you're gonna be embarrassed like damn babe you don't broke Ooh. the damn seat with your big ass my, let me tell you something bro my big girl my big my big woman walked me on their shoulders while i walk in the room on your, oh they I'm put you on their shoulder on their shoulders i'm king joffy oh your father, my shit they treating you like I'm a king, king. I, I got you joffy don't have to walk <laughs> i'll take you there you got your chat as so soon as she put as soon as she put you down you just smack on the booty like bow i'll smack her stomach first <laughs> you like big chunky bonky guts brother bro, oh bro. hell no bro you lost me with that see you being you just nasty <laughs> you a nasty bro. you like they chunky wonky bro. you be squeezing they rolls and shit you want to leave so for you want to smell her sweat underneath her roll all love that's how you man that's mad that see that's a difference now that's a, that's <laughs> perversion and the way you giggling about it you got to know you wrong uh, this man got demons you need to let them go bro, you they bro. bad they wrong you, you shouldn't be listening to them man because they ain't treating you right talking about squeezing they rolls and jiggling they fat shit you need to send them back to hades with this madness <laughs> You still giggling and chirping, man. I'm gonna pray for you, brother. You can't bet this up. One love, bro. I love it. Yo, show, one man. love, man. No, beloved. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it, dog. So much love. Holla at you later, man. Real talk. Look, I got love for that brother, man. And all y'all brothers out there, but y'all gotta understand. In my mind, I'm probably about. 5,000 years old, man. I'm old, man. I need to get it together. And the truth of the matter is, let me talk to y'all, man. I'm far from old. Far from old. Way farther than you think. When people find out how old I am, they be like, damn, I thought you was like 60 years old. The girl's looking for a sugar daddy like, nope, I ain't your old. I ain't about to send you no money, you little heifer. Hello, hello. Who who this is here? Hey, Sean. What's going on, man? Long time no hear from. Oh, no doubt. What's on your mind, brother, man? Cool and cooler, man. But I'm glad that you got old boy off the phone because that last phone call was a little bit too much. Oh, <laughs> man, it was a little crazy. We we supposed to be talking about Diddy and R. Kelly. You know? and how, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But like, yo, let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all was to really like take it back to when I first uh, brought about about Diddy saying that if y'all watch that movie get him to the greek exactly what is going on right now is exactly what he was doing in that movie which is why he was so good for that role you see what i'm saying get him to the greek huh yeah like, if you haven't seen that if you haven't seen that look it up add it to your playlist and watch it and i guarantee you you'll see exactly you know what's what crazy about. but you know what's crazy i was talking earlier how you know in them societies they always with the greek you know, when they take them pledges and things in college, uh -huh. like the Greek, you know, Alpha Five, they be on they they got the sororities, fraternities and things. They take that shit seriously. So for him to yeah, be in do. the movie talking about get him to the Greek, what the hell is this about? Like what? Exactly. He needs to... The title, the title and the color that's all in itself. Yet alone that movie as a whole is just like Diddy's performance in that movie was just 
way too spot on, way too good. Why? Because you see what's going on in real life. Exactly Did it what's actually going got on, a exactly movie? I could be playing in this movie. Brother, I'm buying this movie on Prime tonight and I'm going to watch it because it's you crazy. said it, man. Back. It's a you good said movie. It. Man, and I, you know what's going on? Definitely let me know. Oh, brother, man, this is like some gold. You don't drop the pot of gold on me, man. Is you a leprechaun or something? You from Houston? Yeah, man. He from Houston, y'all. Nah, from New York. He from wanted New the York. Clover G's done moved to New York <laughs> like 20 years ago, man. And even like, 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 this is just what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do my research, and then it's like, when I, like, it's funny because I started this research early this morning at five o'clock. I didn't even know about this until my wife told me. So oh, as I'm shit. sitting here watching everything going on, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I ain't even know none of this was going on. So that's why I had to call in, like, yo, nah, you need to. Everybody that's hearing my voice, y'all need to go type in, get him to the Greek, and y'all all need to watch that movie. And y'all gonna see exactly what I mean. Yeah, man. That's what we gotta There's do. No cap. That ain't no cap. That's exactly what we gotta do, man. And we gotta, you know, keep it real with the people. Reggie, if you don't turn that music, that's why I be up here <laughs> preaching this old sad ass, sorry ass music, man. We need a hip hop. I need some hip hop producers out there because this shit sounds like somebody just woke up out the grave. Well, like, you know, uh, if you need some, uh, some music missing, let me know. Email you know me and say maybe I can help you with something. Man, this old shit put your ass to sleep. I understand this good radio music, but shit, <laughs> give the people some bob. I need to put some some snap on this shit. Like, make a nigga get buck in the bag. <laughs> the channel would do a whole lot better because this some this make it this some Matlock shit going on with this music right here. No. Yeah, because this right here is way too much and it's way too distasteful. Oh, man, I mean? ass music. The shit got all the all, it all gotta go. Reggie, man, hook up them keyboards, man. All this shit gotta go. Can't do this. <laughs> this shit, it is not the bop. Like this, it sound booty. It sound like some shit from the 80s. Like, brother, I need to put some 808s on there and make it sound real ignorant. Hey, no, if you bought, yeah, no, if you bought, yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted to drop that knowledge on you, drop some jewels on you so I could definitely do y'all research for tonight as well. You know what I mean? You a blessing, bro. Man, God had you call in, bro, because you a blessing. Yeah, you you know. put me in the right frame of mind. You don't help me figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you, know, you don't help me. Man, you don't put... You don't put the Diddy movie out there. It's about to be on, man. You called in at the right time, too. I always do. You know who this is, man. Yeah, Nobody man. knows, Sean. Yo, I'm going to give you your props, too, man. Y'all heard it here on SAT, man. This brother real. And we want to thank you so much for your phone call. Say your name again for the people. My name is Dominique from New York. You already Yo, know. Dominique from New York. Y'all remember that, man. And we going to holler at you later. Real talk, man. Ooh. Dominique from New York. Or is that Dominique from Shay Lowe's trailer park? Hold on, somebody lying, man. Oh my goodness. Is that the real Dominique? Cause he said he was from Houston. Did he say he from New York? Is he from Trey Lowe's trailer park? Oh my goodness. Somebody asked Petey Pablo. That might be him. That's Dominique from Trey Lowe's trailer park trying to be incognito oh man i'm gonna watch this movie they got diddy in, they trying to put him in cuffs he got a little peep hole he got a crawl space turn that shit up man where the good music put a good one i leave it on there man and turn it up see if i could get jiggy with this shit because that's what we working with this is the last night the audition closed we coming back with hip-hop beats this sounds like a madman just left the asylum. That nigga out there at night, he all in the trees and people bushes and shit. He pop out like peekaboo and creep your whole family out like somebody call the police. <laughs> somebody call the police. This is some old psycho ass rolling in the street ass nigga, man. Like he lost it. Like, uh oh, somebody, bet it's a full moon tonight, this nigga. They got a peep. They got a crawl space for Diddy. You got to crawl up in there, man. You got to be a certain age to get up in there. Can't no grown people 
get through the crawl space. It only fit bodies. That's like 18 and under. Can't nobody else get through. That's why they had to break down the gate because it was a crawl space to get to his house, man. He be looking out the window like, oh, niggas crawling. He see them boys crawling in. Like, oh shit, niggas crawling at night. He even put it in a couple of his raps. No, I be balling. I see niggas crawling all up in the lawn and crossing my garden. Beg my pardon. He been freaking them rhymes talking about that gate. They seen it all in the reports. Like, oh shit, the, the legendary gate to Diddy's house. It might be a dragon behind that motherfucker. As soon as you crack the gate, a dragon just flame your ass. Y'all turn into skeletons. You gotta be King Arthur to go up in that bitch. It's all theory, man. Imaginary theory. It's entertaining. They took it. They got this AI shit that could generate a Sean Blazington video better than Sean Blazington. I'm just like, damn, I'm going to do live streams then. But they, I can't fight a computer. They shut me down with technology. Like, brother, try to outwork this. Like, I got three channels. Like, you know, keep the shit flowing. Like, but you got to fight the algorithm. Like, am I Neo in the Matrix? Like, why y'all doing this? It's all entertainment theory, man. And people shouldn't be taking this type of stuff seriously. But people do, man. And it's crazy. I'm going to keep it real. Diddy House getting raided is for entertainment. It's great for views. Plus people willing to believe all types of shit. Let's make it interesting for the public. This probably his second career. Like we're going to pay you a billion dollars to be a, a conspiracy guy guy. Like the public is going to hate you, but your numbers are going to triple, especially if they believe the stories. Like it's a big pharma, but it's entertainment. It's, you know, the new Hollywood. There is no new movies that can outlive this shit. Like movies are a thing of the past. How about you be a superstar on the conspiracy theory list? Hey, it works for people, man. You know, all they're going to do is talk shit. You're going to be the one rolling in dough. Like it's good for the media. Like it's entertainment. Shannon Sharp, Club Shay Shay, let's go. Club Shay Shay. You don't think they they planned on making him zesty? You don't think that was his goal? Y'all don't think he achieving everything he wanted to achieve? He hop out the car. Like, hello. He pointing at the camera. That's some old TikToker shit. He a TikToker. He a man. It's entertainment. The media, man. Y'all need to turn that shit off. I like to go deep, but not that deep. Bring it back to the surface, bro. That shit sound like a, a broke ass strip club. Ain't nobody getting jiggy in there but big, big fat men. That beat sound horrible. This some old wannabe Wendy Williams ass music. Like, hello, this is Wendy. You tune back in. We're gonna go in on Diddy, Shannon Sharp, and a whole bunch of other people out there because they're all clowns and phonies. Did you guys know that Michael Jackson's grandmother or his mother, like she's in trouble with his son? Like, can you actually believe that? We're going to be talking about everything going on in the media. You just stay tuned. Wendy got it for you right now. You just stay tuned. It's going to get popping. Don't worry. I'm back. I'm here. Y'all thought I was down for the count, but I'm not. I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. We're going to do the show. We're gonna talk about Diddy or Kelly. We're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about everybody. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yes, I'm calling uh, from the state on, of Mississippi. Man. Oh man, we got somebody from Mississippi on the phone. Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Oh man. Hey Reggie, pull me a glass of lemonade, bro. I, I need a glass of lemonade. I pay you to do this stuff, man. Y'all be thinking, Reggie. 
Look, I pay this man top dollar. Reggie used to be a pimp, man. Y'all, look, he a, he a respectable brother. It's just that I put him in position because back in the day, he, you know, slipped up and did some things he shouldn't have did. That's still my dog, but Reggie, you know, <laughs> it's some real ones over. This some real deal. I got a Cadillac waiting for me outside right now, man. This ain't no joke. Diamond pink rings, gold tooth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you got to say about it, man? What you got to say? Well, I'm calling in, responding to the subject as it is while I'm watching television. We are all watching it about uh, this Diddy situation. Oh, my God. Yeah. And how would you, the subject today, as far as I can see on our television on YouTube right now, as yeah. we speak, who would you rather see, free R. Kelly or Diddy? This, this yeah. situation is. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! In response to that, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, we some old down home folks down here, true enough, but we keep it real always and always we. Keep it oh real. Oh my good, these city folks, I tell you the truth, baby, ain't nothing gonna stand but what's right in the outside of God always. Let me tell you something, these, you know, bravo to anybody that can reach their goals financially all the way you know uh, or what have you so much for that but anyway th this is just ridiculous it's not because you know my, my, my heart is just is, is fulfilling with this being a black man especially though yeah i gotta say that but it's like this you do wrong wrong gonna follow you i don't care what race you are what situation you in as far as financial or, or, or celebrity status? Non perfect, but God. Yeah. But it, this all is going to lead to a Lord knows I'm scared to even say it over the phone. But it's somebody much higher than him. Than him. God is above oh, us all. Oh, man. You but know what it is, sister. You know what it is. I hate to cut you off. We need some leaders in our communities that people can actually respect. Cause we talking about Diddy like he Dr. King. And it really they ain't that deep. It really ain't that you deep. Are, you talking about him like he Malcolm X, like he did something for the people. You talking like about this man. You talking about Diddy. You talking about Diddy. Searching for, for years and all this stuff. He ain't Frederick this Douglass. He ain't Frederick Douglass. This is too much. He, he too is far. not Frederick Douglass. Y'all make it seem like. And, and, and I'm going to tell you. Oh, uh, man, we need some better leaders. They better. are nice for us to see the children. They mm. arresting people, the children and stuff, bringing them out of handcuffs. That hurts us down here in Mississippi. Yeah. A lot of us. I'm speaking for my state. Mm -hmm. We That was a hurtful feeling uh -oh. for us to see this on TV with uh -oh. his children uh -oh. in handcuffs bringing them out. Uh-oh. For a situation like this. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. You know what? I apologize. I respect your country roots, baby. I apologize. That, this is not nice at all. To see this on television Man. all the way in the state of Mississippi with us. I respect. We are we are pretty much destroyed mentally from mm -hmm. this to see this on our television here in this state. Yeah, I we never see seen nothing like this. Y'all from a black me. man involved in the children bringing them out in handcuffs. Y'all by that river. See, we, we we type of people we raise our children. Y'all by, by that river. So y'all plenty y'all more plentiful than a lot of other people. That's why they do y'all so bad. Y'all over there. Y'all right by that big ass river right there. That's a landmine. Yeah. That's shit. That's that's earth. That's nourishment. That's forever, forever. Y'all, y'all in yes, the promised land. Y'all in the promised land don't even know it. And that's why they mad, because y'all black and y'all living in the prom. That's why y'all got it so hard. The Mississippi, the promised land. Yeah, but when it comes to our children and raising them right, we still have chastisement in the right way down here. The law stand with us, we raising our children, the black and the white. We don't play that. We, you know, we raise our children up to, in the right way. We try to everybody should yeah. and go back to the old time way with us say the Lord in that Bible now. Yeah, you know, times and, don't and, change. And a lot of these things won't be. Yeah, times like don't change. 
them and they are out of control and that's what makes giddy people yeah. like this in the long run you know what see now i understand why people be like mama i'm going to the big city you be like what you talking about you going to the big city hey mama mm -hmm. i'm going to california how many people in california from mississippi y'all ever thought about that it's a whole bunch of people that live in, that went to California that's from Mississippi like I'm gone fuck it I'm going to the big city cuz oh I can't do it down here in these parts man you know I'm gonna go be a movie star I'm getting a fuck how many people guess what I'm in LA calling back home laughing like yeah nigga yeah I'm in LA y'all still in Mississippi yeah mama side family y'all niggas still in Mississippi yeah we in LA cuz this how we do it cuz low rider cuz Mm -hmm. Listening to others. Stunt on their hometown. Baby, I'm living good. It's two times. We living good down here. Yeah. I still got a garden and everything. Raise my oh, own I food. It. I don't trust somebody's food. I work hard. I, I got a good it. job. There's some educated people that come out of the state of Mississippi. I seen and it. we 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 living good. I and seen we it. And, we, and we raise our kids and chastise them right. I and we believe in spanking too. And it be eating good. I seen it. I see. I know what's going on. We got folks from Atlanta, California. We got kids from that moved up there. They come back to visit us. They coming for Easter. Easter I coming see. up. And I know. Come to our house. They got they to. Respect they, us. they got to. They ain't gonna come in here cussing with their pants down and all oh, that stuff. They, they respect better. Us. They pay homage. That's their mecca. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get baby in LA and all that stuff. You do that up there, but when they touch down here, yeah. you walk in our house, these all these black folk and these white folk, yeah. you gonna respect us. Yeah. Or you gonna get an you ass, ass whooping. Right. Or you gonna get an ass yeah. whooping. Yeah. Yeah. I grown kids that moved out, mm. go to college, you know, at these surrounding universities and stuff, when they come home, they still respect us because mm. we're not having it. We, mm. we, we don't get down like this. Mm. I don't care where you go, what kind of job you got, how mm. much money you think you mm. done up and get that mm. love. You're going to respect them. Yeah. That's why them ballers be coming out of Mississippi. Like, what you say? Like, hold on, wait. Do I have to bust your mouth? Like, hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on, player. Hold on, partner. Hold on. Let me show you how we do it around the Mississippi player. Pop, yeah, pop and I know ass. people still scoring us because the black, the white, everything down here. Yes, it's gonna always be like this. Ninety-five percent of us, we we love our children. They they leave out of this state and go somewhere up north. They come back some of homosexuals and stuff. Yeah, the parents still love them. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We don't believe in Hold this. on, hold on, wait one second. You talking about Mississippi? Yeah, I said it. What about South Carolina? What they call them? The, the people that got the islands in South Carolina. I hate to be disrespectful, but you know what I'm talking about. They got the Gullah, the Gullah people. What you got to say about the Gullah people, man? You think it's crazy in Mississippi? The Gullah people, all them beautiful islands that they own. Now they mm -hmm. got hotels and resorts on them things, and they don't own it no more. Yeah. They, they let go of the kingdom. The whole kingdom gone. Everywhere. In every town, every city all over the world. Advantage and disadvantage. But I'm going to stick up for Mississippi. Because there's a lot going on in the north that ain't going to never happen in Mississippi. Oh, it's, it's happening. Oh, hey, it's we, happening in Mississippi. It's going to be everywhere all over the world. It's everywhere. And going to forever be from the looks of it. But as far as this old crap by Diddy, how these folk acting and stuff, and disrespect with the children, they, like they, you know, I don't care if they are born with a silver spoon in their body. They better not come to Mississippi with that. They going to come with, with, with respect here. Hold on. So all with the rappers, everybody. all the rappers need to move to Mississippi. You ain't going to be able yes, to bring them. Yes, they no... do. Those uh -oh. train hanging, uh -oh. clothes hanging down uh -oh. and all that. You can't come here with that. Uh-oh. It's going to be, look, Diddy got a new house. It's in Mississippi, y'all. He going to be around oh, there. Yeah. He going to be around there. That man won't be in the trouble he is if he had been touring Mississippi. 
Man, they would have did him worse in Mississippi. Let's be real. No, they wouldn't. Oh, they would have had a good old time and did his motherfucking house. Oh, we would. They would. They would have called the dogs on Diddy. The whole Mississippi would have paid money to see Man, him in concert. Come on. They would have put the dog. Diddy would have been ate what up by some dog. The whole Mississippi would have paid money Diddy. to go see him in concert. Diddy would have been they ate up. They would have put the dogs on Diddy. Come on now. Yeah, but don't bring his dogs. Oh, with come him. on. Y'all talking don't all that big dogs. talk. Y'all just a man. Look, I love Mississippi. Y'all be Mississippi, Mississippi baby. baby. A lot of people return. Yeah. I know. But no, and guess what they always and come we love back you to today. I, I know what you saying. I know what you saying. You don't stun it on the world. Yeah, you stun it. You stun it. When your album coming out? I don't know when you, you want need, it. Look, we gonna produce <laughs> it for you because you need an <laughs> album. You Mississippi's finest. We gonna get yes, you a TikTok. I yeah, I speak the truth. You I thug out. Like you thug out. You. you thugging from Mississippi. We understand. I ain't sit and call back the next time we go live. Lord have mercy. Somebody get her an award. Reggie, get that lady an award. She acting real good tonight. I like her skills. They need to put her on BET. Like get her a contract. Shit, she might mess around. And get her talk show before I get mine. That wouldn't be right. Anyway, let me talk. We got a whole nother show tonight. I'm over here, man. If you don't play a hot beat, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Oh, my goodness. And you better press the right button because if you don't. Okay. Okay, I could do that because I was going. These beats, we got to get to work this weekend because these beats about to drive me about crazy in this bitch. This one can stay. We going to keep this one. Them other ones, we going to delete them bitches gonna put it in the trash can we're gonna take it from the pc take it over to the mac and when we get it out in the mac we're gonna delete it in the mac trash can like bitch we can delete it on the pc trash can but we want to cross over dribble put it on the hard drive and ship that bitch to the other computer just so we can double cross big daddy dunk it <laughs> that shit booty man it's wack I can't get my I could get my groove on with this beat turn that up I could crit, do some gangster shit I could pull up to your mama house on this beat right, how you doing Miss Betty I see you got on that summer dress again your, your booty poking come here give me a hug Miss Miss Betty, your son ain't home, is he? Is he gone? Miss Betty, is your son gone? Because he be watching my channel. And uh, he a fan, and I, I know he liked the show, but Miss Betty, call me when that nigga gone. Ain't that cold-blooded? It'll never happen, but it's a theory, man. Just like a lot of this stuff with P. Diddy probably ain't never happened. People out there talking, making up stories. He looking at the TV like... Y'all better be happy they paying me to go through this shit. Oh R. Kelly might be at, he might be in Mississippi low key. He got a farm and shit. He out there chopping up lumber. Right there, there he got a, they deliver food from Walmart. He get to have secret friends that's in the government that ain't gonna say shit. He live right next door to OJ Simpson. He did it for entertainment too. It was a charade, a media bliss, a newspaper seller, a movie catcher, an eye catcher, like a, a slasher adventure, man. It was some old, they, they cooked it up, caked it up, put some foot of American public, like bam, heavy production, baby. Hollywood TV. We're rolling in money. OJ, give me a hug. We're rolling in money, buddy. I know it sucks. It sucks. It does. I know it sucks, OJ. People think you're in jail. Like, what the fuck? Like, who you're going to be celibates with? They thought Bill Cosby did. Yeah, the, the public believed that Bill Cosby was in jail with his old ass and his diapers sitting in the cell. It's big media, baby. It's entertainment. You know, people bite. Y'all y'all, y'all eat it like pigs. You know, that's what they do. You know, you see you talk about a celebrity. Next thing you know, you got a bankroll. It could just be entertainment, Joe. 
But uh, yeah, y'all believe what y'all want to believe. I got a whole nother video to do. Somebody got to keep it real. Shit. I just hate that it had to be me sometime. Hey, did he get money? He been getting money. He just get more money. They be like, hit me, hit me, bam. Like, oh shit, more money. That's my theory. Y'all need to do me a favor and thank the people that hit the cash app for me. Cause uh, we got to get up out of here. We got some things to do. We about to set up a whole nother production on y'all ass. Be up all night. I want to thank, who I want to thank? Somebody hit that cash app, didn't they? Hey, I want to thank Ty Harris, my brother. Thank you so much. You ain't had to do that, but you did it. He said, Tidy Whitey, thank you for the entertainment. He must be from Nebraska or some shit. Yo, hey, bro, damn, thank you so much for the donation. He said, Tidy Whitey. He might be from Colorado. That better not be no zesty going on. Hey man, turn. We need to change this beat too, cause this shit sound like something Prince would be talking to. I thank you for tuning in live. Me and Sheila E is about to do a jingle. And if you're a wild boy or a cow girl, you can totally get with this groove. We're gonna take it from the top. I'm gonna whip my hair back and uh, uh, we're gonna do something zesty, people. I need you to subscribe like everybody like it everybody at the same time everybody say at the same time hold on man i gotta give a shout out i gotta give a shout out to um sonya askwell thank you so much sonya um humble walters she's so lovely you know she just a she plentiful and everything humble waters like i'm humble but my waters flow best believe my waters my waters are infinite, they flew, and I just, you know, I go with the flow. I got go, I'm doing good, I'm humble waters. Uh, she went, yeah, man, soul sister, soul sister, man, that's so good. And then Sonya Escoet, so I think she Latina, and she real, real pretty. I ain't putting people business out there, but you know what I'm saying, like, she a beautiful, I got a beautiful Latina. That's amazing, man, shit. They might as well put me on the Hollywood Walker and all that shit. Okay, we about to, Reggie, we got to get out of here, man. What the hell going on? Subscribe to my channel if that's what you, I ain't ready to go yet. I'm having too much fun on the SAT channel. Hey, we about to head over to Docs Daily and get that shit off the screen, bro. What is he doing? It took a nap. Wait a minute, y'all. We about to head over to Docs Daily. And we about to turn that thing up. It's gonna be lit. Y'all need to come check it out, man. I'm about to set it up. We gonna diddy it up. We're gonna be talking about Kim Porter, Al B. Shore, conspiracy things, man. It's gonna, look, I be playing on this channel, but on Doc's Daily, that's when the nigga get serious. And when you see the mad face like, bitch, I ain't playing. Now y'all wanna get deep, well here it go. Raw and uncut, bam in your face, ain't no joke. Y'all need to get over to Docs Daily, man. Matter of fact, let me show y'all what it is. Hold on, y'all. Docs Daily, man, put that on. Yeah, this where we gonna be. I ain't got it set up, but y'all be on the lookout cause it's gonna pop up. Oh, uh, somebody said 10.45, no. We gonna do 11.45. Yeah, it's gonna be jamming. Y'all need to be there. My man said, I risked my motherfucking life. Yeah. That's what be going on over there. Jason Wildboy said, yes, Doc's dead. Let me get let me get on over there so I could do that damn thing. Simply a learn. Said, uh, not did it that. Yeah, but you gonna like it. I got it how you like it. I did it just for you. I know how you like the videos, man. This gonna be a simply a learn type of night. She gonna, y'all gonna be sleep. She still gonna be watching cause I made it for her, man. I got that right, that sauce you like. I know what you like. 
But that's Negro here nor there, man. Look, I'ma holla at y'all. Thank the people that hit the cash app. Somebody else hit it too. Oh, somebody, Lauren Gammon. Hit that, you don't think I know who you is? She said, for apologies for Mrs. That was you? Ain't no way you that young. Hold on, Lauren Gammon. Thank you so much for the cash app. Ty Harris. Um, Sonia Esquivel, man. Humble Walters. Seneca Williams. Faith Darden. Grace. Samuel Ramsey. Lanisha Thompson. Ms. Ness. Lauren Gammon again. Man. That's the type of love and support. That's all I really need. You know what I'm saying? I'm humble for y'all Walters, man. That's amazing that you got people out here doing well, well enough to help a brother out. Like, man, y'all doing good like that. Like, wow, y'all doing good. I like to see that. That's the type of people I need in my circle. You know what I'm saying? But that's Negro hitting on there. Reggie, we gotta, man, I gotta get up out of here. I don't wanna go. Y'all been waiting for me to leave anyway. And y'all don't do me right. Ain't like y'all hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm just an unwanted guest. That ain't right. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. But if that's not what you like, then you must be a punk. Hold on now.